Mauricio Pochettino says he's not going to spend a lot of time and energy trying to convince dual nationals to come play for the United States. And you know what? I think I'm kind of with him. We're going to talk about what this means and if it's the right strategy next, here on Pints and Punditry at the Pitchside Pub. So the concept of dual nationals has become more and more prevalent in international football as, you know, our lineages naturally get more intertwined and players become eligible for more and more nations. And a nation like the United States that is constantly worried about its player pool really has turned the focus on dual nationals of late because for the first time in a long time, we've got a chance to actually get them and that's somewhat new to United States soccer, and we've had some successes there. Fowler and Balligan comes to mind as probably the most prominent example, but there's a few others. Jedi Robinson has turned out to be wonderful, uh, and, and there are other guys who have eligibility in multiple nations who we have, you know, sort of fought to get over the years. And and with the uh, the the placement of Mauricio Pochettino as the head uh, head coach of the United States men's national team, the thought was that he would be, you know, he would be a huge draw for some of these dual nationals to select the United States. And they may be, he may be, and they may want to come play for him. But he came out recently and, and said, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time and energy on that because I want players who want to play for this nation. And I kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of like it and I get it to a certain extent. So we're going to talk about that today, but before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below so you can follow the channel. Get down in that comment section. Do you like what Poach is saying? Do you want a little bit different philosophy? Get in that comment section. Let me know what you think. You can also leave some comments on Twitter, at PitchSidePub, and check out the website, PitchSidePub.com. So I get it. I get what he's saying, and I like that from a philosophical standpoint, right? If you have to, you're playing for your country is supposed to be the, the ultimate honor, right? And you should be dying to play for your country. And he wants players who have that mentality. And it's interesting because he's not even from this country, right? He's Argentinian. But, I, but I'm sure that's how he felt playing for Argentina. And so he wants players who, who want to play for the United States, not because it's the best opportunity for their footballing careers, but because they want to represent the United States. And I like that. I think ultimately that creates a culture and culture was one of the reasons he was brought in. The culture surrounding Greg Berhalter during his tenure was not good. And Pochettino was brought in to make those kinds of changes more so than these, you know, brilliant tactical maneuvers. He was brought in to change the culture and change the mentality of the program from top to bottom. And, and we don't know how long he's going to be here. So we're talking about some dual nationals like uh, you know, Arnie Chase, right? Young, younger guys who are not necessarily ready to compete right away. So he's not concerned about getting these guys in, but he wants to leave that lasting legacy. And that's the change of the culture. So he's saying, hey, if you want to be here, we want you. But I'm not going to sit here and personally try to convince you to come play for the United States. You, you have affiliations to other countries as well. If you want to play for them, go play for them. We will take the best players who, who are dying to represent the United States. And I respect it. Now, it ha it can't be completely short-sighted, right? It, there has to be some effort, and I'm sure that's what Pochettino means. I'm sure if any of these players wanted to to sit down with him and discuss, you know, his his philosophies for the team and things like that, I'm sure he'd be amicable to it. But we have done, you know, from the United States standpoint, we have done some some genuine recruiting efforts, uh, almost college football style recruiting efforts over the years to get players like Fowler and Balligan. He's the most recent example um, because he he was, had such an affiliation with uh, with the England program and, and had the option to play there and and yet wasn't going to we, we saw the opportunity right emerging young player very talented wasn't going to crack that England squad. Hey, Flo, we got a spot for you, right? And so there was a massive recruiting effort uh, there. Eunice Musa came up with the with the England um, youth teams as well, and, and he was nabbed much earlier than Flo Balligan. That's a more recent one. But we have put together some really massive recruiting efforts. And, you know, Burhalter does get some credit for that, and, and he deserves some credit for that. And Pochettino has basically said, nope, that's not going to be me. That's not why you hired me. And, and that's fine as long as somebody's doing it. And I assume that is happening. Matt Crocker, uh, other higher ups, I assume they are putting forth those efforts to try and convince players 
but I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine with the head guy saying, yeah, I only want you if you want to be here. And letting them know, it's basically saying, hey, we're not going to be your second option. We're not going to be your fallback. We're not going to be your, your, your safety country, right? <laughs> we're not going to be the place you come because you think we're not as good as your other country. And thus, you've got a better shot to get playing time, which is basically what happened with Fowler and Balligan. But, you know, we took it there. And, and basically, he's saying we're not going to do that anymore. And that's part of the changing of the mentality is, hey, we're not this second tier uh, country on, on the international scale where we'll take your cast offs that, that don't make the England squad or don't make the Japanese squad or whatever the case may be. No, we want guys who want to be here, want to fight for their spot on this team. And you want to commit to us, great. Doesn't mean you're going to be guaranteed a spot. You're going to fight like everybody else. And I think that really changes the entire mentality of where the United States falls into world football. And, and whether it's accurate or not doesn't really matter. Is that, are we not quite good enough to be playing that card? Possibly, right? It's, we are somewhere in the middle of the teens in terms of the best uh, footballing squads in international football, right? We're so, I would put us somewhere between like 15 and 20, right? But we're acting like we're one of the top 10 nations in the world. Well, yeah, so that's fine. That's fine because that's where we want to get to. So I'm fine with having that mentality. As long as we're sitting there saying, oh, you're a half-decent player, uh, come play for us, right? This isn't, this isn't little giants, okay? We are, we are better than that at this point. We want to be even better than that. So we shouldn't be so desperate for the cast-offs or the players who just think it's, a, it's an easier way for uh, some World Cup experience. So I'm good with it. I'm good with it so long as somebody is still making those efforts. You can't make players uh, feel unwanted. And I don't think we are quite good enough to be a destination like a France, like an England, like a Germany, where we could completely you know, toss our nose up at somebody and go, well, yeah, yeah, you, you'll, you, you want to be here more than we want you. And, and that's just because we're that good. You know, Spain, countries like that. We're not at that level. So we have to have a little bit of that recruitment effort, but... As long as somebody's doing it, I don't care if it's Pochettino or not. I, he's here to change the mentality. He's here to change the culture. And if if holding the program to that standard means means raising the level and raising the mentality, then I'm all for it. So uh, so far, it's in Poch we trust, and and I'm fine with that uh, to a certain extent. But it will be interesting to see how some of these dual nationals uh, end up and what kind of choice they end up making. I'd love to get your thoughts on this. If you're a fan of the United States men's national team or just a, an international fan in general, uh, I would love to get your thoughts. Get down in that comment section. Let me know what you think. You can also leave comments on Twitter at PitchSidePub. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below so you can follow the channel and check out the website, PitchSidePub.com. Thanks, as always, for joining us here on Pints and Punditry at the PitchSidePub. Pub.